Hi friends, Mickey Mankis here and welcome to Out the Back Door. Today I am going to be canning up pineapple, so join me. Alright, I have a friend ask me, hey, do you want some pineapples? I'm like, okay. Well, I didn't realize that they're so ripe that it's like, I need to take care of these now. So, all I'm doing is twisting off the tops. See, there's even, it's starting to really get soft on the side here, so I'm going to end up trimming away some of that. But it's like, we weren't going to be able to eat this much pineapple all of a sudden, you know, just the two of us. And I thought, well, I like canned pineapple. And I don't remember if I canned it this, I think I canned some this spring. Right now, I am what my sister would call me, a canning fool. Because I have been canning all day long, just nonstop. Yeah, it's 6.30 in the evening, and now I'm going to be doing pineapple. But I need to get this done, so let me get a bowl so I can start showing you how I cut up a pineapple. Okay, as you saw, I just twisted off the, the top, the leaves, and that came off. I know there's a lot of different ways to peel, cut up a pineapple, and but this is the way I do it. Um, I'm going to just slice off the top, and I can see how ripe it is because it's brown in here, so I'm going to trim that off. I'm also going to be trimming off the bottom. Normally I'd save these peels and everything and I would make like a pineapple vinegar, but mm, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. You see how brown it is? I'm going to trim a little bit more off right away. All right, that looks a lot better. That looks good. And now I just cut it in half. And I'm going to cut those in half. All right. Now I am going to just take the core out. Yeah, these are getting soft. You can smell how juicy ripe they are. Okay, and this is the process that I'm going to do with the rest of them. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make lines lengthwise um, I'm gonna cut through and but I'm not gonna go through the skin but I'm going to make like four of them and then I'm gonna go crosswise I may have shown you how to do this when I did the tropical blitz jam mm-hmm because I make that every year so I'm just going along the bottom then and just kind of carving out the pieces. Get my bowl over here. And I can see there's a couple that didn't, I didn't cut far enough, but there we go. All right, now it is possible that you're going to get a few little eyes from the inside of the skin. You know what, don't worry about it. Cut down the center so I've got even markings here. Now, I'm not into making and canning pineapple rings or whatever. And if I need crushed pineapple, I just take out my diced up, my chunks, and crush them up. I'm gonna keep at it with all of these and then I'll get to the next step. All right, I just took my jars out of the oven. I had them in there sterilizing for 225 degrees Fahrenheit. I had them in there for a minimum of 20 minutes. And I was waiting for my tomatoes to get out of the canner. So now that I've got that taken care of, I can move on to this. All right, so here is the four pineapples that I had chunked up. And I am going to start loading my jars. Now, I'm going to be doing this in a simple syrup, a light one, but I'm gonna do it a little unconventionally. We're going to be leaving a half inch of headspace. 
And I don't know if I am going to need all 12 jars or not. I was kind of guesstimating four jars per pineapple. I don't know, we'll see. I've got my Tatler lid scalding right now while I'm waiting. All right, let me finish filling these up and then we will get on to this unconventional simple syrup. All right, I ended up with two extra jars. I'm gonna set these aside. So I ended up with a total of 10 pint jars. Okay, here's where I'm gonna do a twist, unconventionally making my simple syrup. I wasn't sure how many jars I was gonna get. I didn't want to waste the sugar in making um, X amount of simple syrup. I do have water boiling there. So what I'm gonna do is put one tablespoon of my rocking sugar into each jar. You don't even have to put any sugar if you don't want. This is a little bit of a prepper that comes out of me here because worst case scenario, if you are dependent on your canned food in the pantry and stuff, and you need calorie supply, you're gonna be drinking that juice also that's in there. And by adding the sugar in there, it's gonna give you a better caloric intake. You can pour straight water in here, that's fine. But that's why I am doing it this way. I am um, putting a lighter amount. Now, if you're making um, a simple syrup, Normally what I do, for example, I, I could take 10 cups of water and I may put one to two cups of sugar in it. That's how light of a syrup I normally make. If I'm gonna make a heavy syrup, I would be using four cups of sugar in there. I mean, super sweet, thick. Yeah, so I mean, you could do that also, but so I put one tablespoon of the rocking sugar natural now i am going to pour my water in hot mitts come in handy insulated gloves okay the nice thing about pineapple we don't have to water bath it very long um, we are only going to be doing 15 minutes for the pint jars so if you did half pint or pint, it would be 15 minutes. If you did quarts, you're gonna do it 20 minutes. And I did mention earlier, we are going to be leaving a half inch headspace. I noticed um, I splattered, I got pineapple juice on the floor and I tried to wipe it up and it's still sticky. These are super sweet. They're super ripe and super sweet. Yes, I had to taste it, you know. And I wasn't gonna waste my time canning it if it wasn't any good. Okay, and I am gonna be debubbling my jars. The reason I use a chopstick is because it isn't gonna scratch when I'm going down on the inside of my jars. You don't wanna stick like a knife down there or anything. I've got a, a hot, wet paper towel here. Always make sure that you're wiping down your rims. Now I will start getting my tattlers on. All right, I've got hot water in my hot water bath canner already because like I said, I had just taken tomatoes out of there. So I'm gonna get these in there and I'm gonna get it, um, the heat back up. Once I start, um, once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna start timing it for 15 minutes. Well, I pulled the jars out a little while ago and I've been letting them sit. We did need to stop and eat supper really quick, but um, that was super easy and quick in order to can pineapple. And the really nice thing about this is um, I got to try the pineapple before I canned it, you know, and it was so super sweet and juicy and everything was really good, so. Um, it's looking good and I'm going to check these jars out tomorrow morning to make sure that they were all sealed and everything and wash them up and mark them and get them into the pantry and whatnot. I want to thank you for joining me today and if you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up and share. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. So until next time, you have a wonderful day. God bless.